In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With your spirit. Good morning on this Monday, July the 6th, 2020, as we gather once more to celebrate and give thanks to our Lord for everything he's given us. And today we celebrate the gift of St. Maria Goretti. Maria Goretti was uh, made a saint in the year 1950. And uh, I'm wearing red today because she was martyred. She was murdered. Uh, by her assailant uh, at the age of 12, and uh, I had the wonderful experience of traveling to Italy and going to the church, St. Maria Grady Church, where she is buried in a town called Nettuno, Nettuno. And I'm not going to give any more away. You've got to read the story of St. Maria Goretti, beautiful and miraculous at the same time. You'll enjoy it. My brothers and sisters, we're here to continue our discipleship and our journey with Jesus, putting him first and learning about him and loving him and putting what we know about him into our lives. We're also acknowledging our sins and failings and preparing ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, author of innocence and lover of chastity, who bestowed the grace of martyrdom on your handmaid, the Virgin Saint Maria Goretti, in her youth. Grant, we pray, through her intercession, that as you gave her a crown for her steadfastness, so we too may be firm in obeying your commandments. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated and listen to the word of God. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, I will allure her. I will lead her into the desert and speak to her heart. She shall respond there as in the days of her youth, when she came up from the land of Egypt. On that day, says the Lord, she shall call me hus my husband and never again my Baal. I will espouse you to me forever. I will espouse you to in right and in justice in love and in mercy. I will espouse you in fidelity, and you shall know that the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. The Lord is gracious, gracious and merciful. Generation after generation praises your works and proclaims your might. They speak of the splendor of your glorious majesty and tell you of wondrous works. The Lord is gracious and merciful. They discourse of the power of your terrible deeds and declare your greatness. They publish the fame of your abundant goodness and joyfully sing of your justice. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate towards all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Our Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. While Jesus was speaking, an official came forward, knelt down before him and said, My daughter has just died. But come, lay your hand on her, and she will live. Jesus rose and followed him, and so did his disciples. A woman suffering hemorrhages for 12 years came up behind him and touched the tassel on his cloak. She said to herself, if only I can touch his cloak, I shall be cured. Jesus turned around and saw her and said, courage, daughter, your faith has saved you. 
and from that hour the woman was cured. When Jesus arrived at the official's house and saw the flute players and the crowd who were making a commotion, he said, Go away. The girl is not dead, but sleeping. And they ridiculed him. When the crowd was put out, he came and looked and took her by the hand, and the little girl arose. And the news of this spread throughout all that land. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Well, our first reading this morning comes to us from the prophet Hosea. He writes during a time when the people of God have fractured into two kingdoms, Israel and Judah. They wrestle with revolutions and political instability and have started to worship false gods. Sound familiar? Hmm. They have failed to be faithful to the Lord and have forsaken their covenant with him. Hosea portrays Israel as an unfaithful spouse, but rather than condemn her, he offers words of hope. God is faithful to Israel and their covenant. He will lead Israel into the wilderness, that place where Israel will once again come to love God alone, to rely on God alone. Hosea's consolation to Israel and to us is that no matter how we have turned away from God, he seeks to be reconciled to us, welcoming us back into faithfulness. He will espouse us to him forever, in right and in justice, in love and in mercy. We just need to accept his invitation. And accepting doesn't have to be hard, though, as we see it in today's gospel, it requires some humility and vulnerability. But in Jesus' waking of the little girl from sleep and his healing of the hemorrhaging women, woman, we are shown the good fruit of union with God. In faith, we are drawn to answer the one who has called us first, who has espoused us, and in whom we believe. In love and mercy, Jesus responds. If we can get out of our own way, if we can manage to push aside anything that keeps us from kneeling before the Lord in our need or reaching out to him in courage and faith, then we too will share the inheritance God provided for us. And hear the Lord say, your faith has saved you. As we come once again to this Eucharistic table, we recommit ourselves to faith only in the one who gives the body and blood for us. And we pray for those who have turned away from God that one day, they may be reconciled to him and join us at the altar of the Lord. God bless you. Please stand. My sisters and brothers, let us now bring our prayers before the Lord. For our church leaders, may the Holy Spirit guide their work and give them the strength to govern wisely. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For nations throughout the world, may the Lord deliver them from the evils of war and oppression. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For families torn by division, may God grant them a spirit of reconciliation and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered in this holy place, may the word and sacrament receive, nourish, and sustain us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, May they rest in God's embrace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own petitions that we hold in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community of Holy Trinity, that uh, we walk in step with Jesus, knowing he is in charge and help others do the same, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, hear the needs of your people we have just offered and answer them in your mercy. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May the offerings we bring in celebration of blessed Maria Goretti win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray, just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was unjustly condemned in mercy, you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together in exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, his brother bishops Timothy and Thomas, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Maria Goretti, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. In the first Let us offer each other a profound bow of Jesus. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worried that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray our active spiritual communion prayer together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on blessed Maria Goretti a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of this sacrament, that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. We will now pray to St. Michael to help us in our battles. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in the battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits that prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you and your loved ones, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks. Have a great day.